Keith Kutzer with the Orvis Fly Fishing Schools. Today I want to talk about casting in windy conditions. Now in our first installment we talked a little bit about dealing with heavy flies and casting in the wind, but I thought I'd retouch on that because uh, the wind is something you're going to deal with in a lot of situations. Uh, saltwater fishing, freshwater fishing, uh, there can always be wind. We have a little bit of wind today. So I want to talk about some of these different directions and some of the things that you can do to deal with that wind. One type of wind that comes in at a right shoulder. If I'm a, I'm a right-handed caster, if I have a wind coming in at this direction, it can be pretty dangerous. I've hooked myself in the ear, in the neck, in the back, in the leg, in the rear end, and it's always been on this side from that wind. There's a few things we can do to help deal with that wind. If that wind isn't that bad, we can make a uh, little bit more of a sidearm cast. Get this fly a little bit further away from me. Notice the angle that my rod's at here and here. That just, that's going to help keep that fly a little bit further away from me, hopefully preventing that fly from sticking itself in your neck or your ear. Another thing we can do is cast over our opposite shoulder. We could take that rod tip and change the angle and now bring the rod tip on this side of our body. We just turn that rod a little bit. It's very simple. So when I make that cast, I'll make a back cast here, then here. Now that flies on the other side of my body right here. This is kind of a cross body cast Then we can lay out that line. Probably my favorite thing to do if I have a wind coming in at this shoulder is actually to turn my back to the wind and keep my rod over on this side, downwind. When I turn my back to the wind, then I can simply just make a back cast delivering it out to that fish and that'll help me uh, deal with that wind coming in at this side. That's the most dangerous type of wind, any kind of wind blowing at your casting shoulder. Another technique that you can do if you have this wind blowing at your shoulder is to simply switch hands. Put the rod in your other hand. Practice making those pick up and lay down casts. Next thing you know, you'll be able to send that line out. You can shoot that line, you can start stripping. I like to practice fishing with my other hand. I think it just makes you a little bit more of a versatile angler. So I just practice shooting that line, making that cast, stripping that line back in. Uh, practice, it's kind of fun. And you don't have to work with a very long line. Start off with a short line, casting with one hand, then maybe switch, cast with the other. Practice with both hands, and like I said, it'll make you a better angler. So now, let's say we have a wind coming at our non-casting shoulder, okay? If I have a wind coming in at my left shoulder being right-handed, actually I think that's kind of what the wind's doing, it's not bad. It's going to keep that fly out over here, keep it away from me. But if I want to be accurate, I might have to compensate for the wind a little bit. If I want to cast right towards the camera, here, if I make that cast, it might blow that fly a little off track. It might land over here. Okay? So what I can do is just compensate for a little bit and cast a little bit upwind and hopefully use that wind to kind of blow that fly right on target. Oh, there goes the fly. And that's what you can do when you have a wind coming across uh, at your non-casting shoulder. A wind coming straight at you is not necessarily the worst wind to deal with. A lot of people feel that this wind coming straight at me is the worst. Well, it's actually not that bad of a wind to deal with. As long as when you cast, you get a nice tight loop, if you can get a nice tight loop, that's gonna help cut through the wind very easily. The tighter the loop, the easier it's gonna to be to cast into that wind. What we have to do is we have to make sure we get that good aggressive flick to a stop. We wanna make a smooth acceleration to that stop. All right, that nice pop to that stop, if you will, or that aggressive flick to a stop, that's gonna help get that loop tight. But remember, it still needs to be a smooth acceleration okay we call them wind knots but they're actually bad casting knots and that happens when you get a little too aggressive a little too soon but if we get nice and smooth accelerate to a stop nice straight path we're going to get a tight loop that'll help cut through the wind one advantage to wind blowing at you is it helps your back cast it's going to help get that line to fire out behind you and then you can make that nice long forward cast if we have a wind blowing at our back a wind blowing at our back uh, yeah it can help you make a longer forward cast but we want to be able to make that longer cast. We want to be able to still get that line to shoot out behind us on that back cast. And there's a cast, uh, some people call it a Belgium cast, some people call it a Novel cast, uh, some people call it a Bahamian cast. It's got a lot of different names. But basically, we're taking that raw tip and coming low on our back cast, bringing it up, and then making a higher forecast. What it is is a constant tension cast. We're always tight on that line, and that's going to help get that line out there it's going to send that nice loop uh, out on the forecast. The wind's going to catch it like a sail and roll it out. Notice when I make this cast that the rod never really stops moving. It speeds up, slows down, speeds up, slows down, or well, it doesn't slow down. Speeds up, almost stops, speeds up, almost stops. But I keep the rod moving kind of in this ellipse right here. That's going to help get that fly out a little bit easier in some of those windy conditions, especially when coming at your back. 
And that's casting in windy conditions.